Hello everyone! Uh, lastly, Ivanchuk drew his game yesterday against Vladimir Kramnik in the World Cup and Ivanchuk had the white pieces, so today Ivanchuk has a tremendous task in front of him. He has to face uh, former world champion Vladimir Kramnik uh, with the black pieces and that is uh, not, a, not a small thing to do uh, as Kramnik with the white pieces is, well, pretty much unbeatable. So it all depends, will Chucky have a good day or not? Uh, but uh, this game I have prepared for you today, uh, this is uh, the London Grand Prix uh, Blitz uh, Finals in 1994 played between uh, Wiswanathan Anand and Vasily Ivanchuk, where as you've seen from the title Ivanchuk misses a mate in one. Uh, but uh, till that moment uh, Anand really does feel the extent of Chucky's wrath. So let's see this uh, game as it is a pretty amazing game since it's a Blitz game. Uh, Anand goes e4 and we have c6 by Ivanchuk, uh, the Karo Khan defense. We have knight c3, d5, d4, uh, d captures on e4, uh, knight captures on e4, knight to d7 and bishop to c4. Uh, we have knight g to f6 and Anand plays knight to g5. And of course this isn't the checkmate Chucky with uh, bishop to f7, this is just a line. Uh, we have e6 now defending and Anand goes queen to e2. And uh, this is a blitz game, and although this is a pretty famous line, you do have to be careful here. If you play something like g6, for example, in this position, you get knight captures on f7. And if king captures, simply queen captures on e6 with check, king to g7, and queen f7 is checkmate. So, a, a, a tricky variation if you're not familiar with it. Uh, so, of course, Ivancho plays knight to b6. Now this bishop is uh, defending this e6 pawn and also attacking, the knight is attacking the bishop here. So we have bishop to b3, h6, kicking this knight. Uh, we have knight 5 to f3, and uh, Ivanchuk plays c5. Uh, we have bishop to f4, and knight b to d5, now attacking that bishop on f4. Uh, we have bishop to e5, and now queen to a5 with check. Uh, we have knight to d2, and now b5. And Ivanchuk is uh, threatening the move c4 to trap this bishop on b3. So we have d captures on c5 by Anand and the bishop captures on c5. So developing a bishop uh, with a tempo. Uh, we have knight to f3 and uh, Ivanchuk castles. And Anand castles queenside. Although a bit safer, uh, it, it was safer to castle kingside here. Uh, but Anand wants to attack on the kingside. So we have queenside castle and we have bishop to b7. Uh, Anand plays g4, preparing g5. We have knight to d7 and uh, we do have g5 by Anand. Uh, knight captures on e5, knight captures on e5, and in this position, well, sufficient would be to play h captures on g5, and this would be okay for Ivanchuk. But I Ivanchuk uh, senses the, the power of the black's position here, and uh, although it's a blitz game, uh, he finds a very interesting move. Uh, he plays knight to c3, and uh, th this is attacking the queen on e2, but also this pawn on a2 twice, and uh, let's see what happens if uh, Anand would capture this knight. If b captures on c3, uh, you'd get bishop to a3 check, uh, king to b1, and now queen captures on c3. And now Chucky would be uh, threatening uh, queen to b2 checkmate. So you do have to stop this, for example, knight to d3, but here rook a to d8, and the threat is of course uh, capturing this knight and checkmating on b2. So uh, white would have to play something like queen to e5, uh, threatening to exchange queens, and after queen captures, knight captures, simply bishop captures on h1. And after rook captures on h1, or any other move, uh, if rook captures, then rook captures on d2. So Ivanchuk would be uh, of the exchange here, and this would be completely winning for black. So Anand of course saw this, and after knight to c3, Anand didn't capture the knight, he played queen to g4. And uh, we have knight captures on a2, uh, bishop captures on a2, and now uh, Ivanchuk doesn't capture the bishop. Because he doesn't want to allow, uh, if, he, if he captures the bishop, for example, uh, you get g captures on h6, threatening checkmate on g7. And after g6, simply knight captures here. And, uh, well, this is uh, completely, completely winning for white. For example, you can't capture the knight or you'd get checkmated, for example, king h7. Uh, knight f8 check, bishop captures on f8 and now rook to g1 and well this is much better for white. So after this bishop to a2 Ivanchuk doesn't capture, uh, he plays h5 first getting a tempo on the queen, uh, we have queen captures on h5 and only now queen captures on a2. Uh, we have knight to b3, uh, bishop to f2 capturing not allowing rook to g1, uh, rook to d3 
And now Anand is preparing rook to h3, and uh, well, this would be a, a deadly threat. Uh, but Ivanchuk actually allows this. He plays rook to c8, and Iva uh, Anand immediately plays uh, rook to uh, rook to h3, and now is threatening checkmate on h7 or on h8, depending on what black plays. Uh, but this was actually Ivanchuk's idea. He plays rook captures on c2 with check, and uh, <laughs> here we have king captures uh, on c2. Sorry, on c2, and we have uh, other rook on c8 check, uh, king to d1, and we have uh, queen to b1 check. Uh, we have king, uh, king to e2, now queen to e4 check, and uh, Anand captures the bishop, king captures on f2, and now rook to c2 check, and uh, Anand plays king to f1, and this is the beautiful critical position of the game. Uh, in this position, uh, Ivanchuk had about 50 seconds left on the clock, and, uh, well, he does have this move, queen captures rook on h1, and this is instant checkmate. Uh, but uh, Ivanchuk didn't see this move and he spent a lot of time here and uh, well he, he got very low on time and in this position he played queen to f4 check he completely missed queen captures on h1 and which I find very fascinating because if, if this wasn't his plan if this position I mean to capture the rook wasn't where he was go what he was going for then uh, it's like he achieved this uh, position intuitively so it, it wasn't calculated uh, so he didn't play uh, queen captures on h1, he played queen to f4 check, uh, and we have knight to f3 by Anand, and already here Anand is much better. Uh, Ivanchuk plays king to f8, avoiding checkmate on h8, we have uh, g6 by Anand, uh, queen to c4, and here Ivanchuk was at about, I don't know, maybe 15 seconds, so he's just checking, <laughs> checking the white king like crazy. Uh, king to g1, we have queen captures on b3, he gets back the piece. Uh, queen to e5, uh, we have rook to c1 check, king to f2, queen to c2 check, king to e3, and now queen to b3 check, uh, king to e2, uh, queen to c4 check, king to f2, queen to c2 check. Uh, Ivanchuk is trying anything because he's really low on time, a couple of seconds only on the clock. Uh, king to e3, now queen to b3 check, uh, king to f4, now rook to c4 check, and now uh, knight to d4 by Anand. Anand doesn't really care, Ivanchuk has only <laughs> 2 or 3 seconds on the clock. Uh, he, Anand gives up the rook here, we have queen captures the rook on h3. Anand plays uh, queen to b8 with check. Uh, we have uh, rook to c8, and now uh, queen to d6 check. And uh, Ivanchuk plays uh, king to g8. And in this position, <clears throat> Ivanchuk is actually completely in a winning position as, uh, well, uh, in this position Ivanchuk actually lost on time. Uh, but if he didn't, I mean, uh, this is a completely winning position for black, as you would get g captures here, qu king captures, queen to d7 check, uh, king f6, and there really isn't a good move for white here. If queen captures on b7, then simply e4, uh, e5 would check, uh, would, a, would, a, would an attack on the knight, and also the queen is now defending this rook on c8. So black is getting made at here. Uh, uh, king to uh, e4, queen g4 check, king to e3, uh, e captures uh, d4 with check, king d3, queen h3 with check, king d2, queen e3, king d1, and rook to c1 check. So, but it uh, doesn't really matter because Anand would never play such moves if he didn't uh, see that Ivanchuk would lose on time. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless, uh, after the move king to g8, uh, Ivanchuk's time uh, hit zero and Anand was the victor. So yeah, uh, definitely an amazing game, and uh, it's, well, uh, things like this do happen. I mean, 50 seconds on the clock and not seeing queen captures on h1, that's pretty amazing. Uh, but uh, that's just how Chucky rolls. <laughs> I, uh, you know, uh, his demons uh, were running wild. And uh, yeah, I will put uh, the link uh, in the description below to the original video, so you can enjoy uh, some uh, young Maurice Ashley commentary with this game, uh, if you want to. It's, it's pretty good. So yeah, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank David Chadwick for your contribution to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you a lot. And uh, yeah, as usual, you can check to all my previous videos here. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you soon.